everyone welcome back to at home with mercedes and welcome if you are new if you are new then my name is mercedes and i am trying to be really uh what's the word hmm. what is the word upfront and straightforward with you about how life is and obviously i'm doing like a savings slash sort of mindful spending journey and I've been giving you my food hauls for the week. So currently at the minute, I have spent £26 on this week's food budget. And I've got a £45 budget because I've got a scissors again. God. Anyway. Um, and this is what I've got from Asta so far. I'll show you the bits that I got from the food budget. And then I'll show you the bits that I've got from Stella Rose's money. And something Joey bought for Stella Rose as well. But this is initially the bits that I got for the food budget. As always, I will leave the prices on screen for you. It just makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to filming. So I got some seedless red grapes and some garlic apples. These were on two for two pound offer. So I got them and some bananas. So they're one pound, essentially one pound. Bananas, really disappointed with the choice in bananas at the moment um, in Asta. Just weren't a lot of choice, but hey, hey. Um, some easy peelers. These were actually out of date today, which is a bit disappointing. Didn't realise, but they were 95p. Um, some corn on the cob, or baby corn, sorry, 69p each. And some potatoes, 69p. These will do me a couple of dinners this week. I did kind of meal plan, forgot my list, so we just went on a whim. And I was meant to do chicken curry tonight, but I forgot to get the chicken bits out of the freezer. So I'll do that a different day. Anyway, long story short. Um, yellow juice, we've got... Orange and mango and orange and pineapple, just to mix it up. Stella Rose, she loves yellow juice. <laughs> I think it's just the flavour that she likes. I'm not really too sure. Um, Fat-free Greek style yogurts. These are 145. As are these. These are the toffee ones. New in, and I thought I'd give them a try at 145 each. And of course, little lady got some strawberry from Irish Fries, Peppa Pig, and two yogurts. There, I've only got the 20th on them, so I only got a couple. They're 80p each. Some white fish fillets for some fish and chips, some chicken Kievs, and also some mini chicken Kievs. So the mini Kievs, these chicken Kievs, two Mighty Meat pizzas, and the Sloppy Joe pizzas were four for five pounds. I think the fish was like two pounds odd. And then finally, we got some bread, 75p each, and a multi pack of crisps for three pounds fifty. So that is actually everything that I spent £26 on. Obviously, there is a few bits and pieces there. Um, nothing too crazy, but there is a fair amount there. I will try and show you the food plan when I've fixed it, if that makes sense. Might also be going out for dinner to my parents one day this week. And I'm working tomorrow night when I don't usually work midweek evenings, but I'm doing an extra shift. So that's why Joey's got a pizza. So that's obviously brought the cost down a little bit but I will need to find some food for my lunch tomorrow slash dinner if that makes sense but I might just come home and have one of these now because they're here and we bought them <laughs> so now I will show you the things that I bought for Stella Rose out of her sort of budget slash allowance um so you can see what I got there's a couple things for Easter but it was only two pounds so I just took it out of her like money if that makes sense so I spent nine pound on her things and Joey spent seven pounds which I'll show you now Okay, so we bought Stella Rose two little books, or with her money, if that makes sense. Peppa's Dragon Adventure, she loves Peppa Pig, as you probably are aware. And that's not my mermaid book. These books she really, really likes, and I've not seen this one before. So these were £4 each, or two for seven, so we bought two for seven. And then we've got these little blue bunny um, bubbles, and these little Easter boppers with little chicks, little chicks and a little bunny. So they were one pound each as well. So that was nine pounds spent on Stella Rose there. This is the final thing that we got. Well, Joey actually bought this. Stella Rose was like, it was so cute. She was like um, shifting through the coat hangers where these were, it was like she was looking for her size to buy it. Um, and it's a really nice lilac-y colour. She looks really, really pretty in this lilac. And it was £7, so we thought we'd get this. I got it in a 2 to 3, or Joey bought it in a 2 to 3. She is 20 months at the minute, but I would rather her get more than four months wear out of it. And obviously, we're coming into spring, summer. So she'll be able to wear this for next winter as well. So obviously, it's worth the money. And anything that I do buy her new now, I tend to get a 2 to 3 because obviously, it's better that she gets more wear and it's a little bit big to begin with. 
she gets more wear out of it but how cute is this so yeah we bought that as well because i am going to need a few more bits for food this week i will not stop recording yet i'll if i need to get anything else or buy anything else i'll add it to the end of this video i think it's just quite nice to show you what i have been buying and then you're fully aware i'm fully accountable for what i've spent and yeah everyone's a winner sorry about this really really messy hair me and joey have been laughing about how tall my bun is last night it was extremely tall it was so funny it was like literally like up here put like an extra foot on my head but yeah i'll see you in the next bit hello it's a new day me and stella rose have been shopping and i thought i would show you what i've bought <laughs> <laughs> you laughing i thought i'd show you what i bought this will be the shopping for the day but one chicken item that i want to get for our fake kfc on saturday um but the fake kfc that i buy so i've bought some already but what i buy both of them will last me and joey and stella rose two dinners so it's kind of like works out in the long run and it's a good cheap KFC. I've got chips already as well, so that's kind of a winner. But I'll show you what I've got. I don't know what I've done with my receipt. I'm hoping it's in the bottom of the pram. I'm going to show you how I bought the shopping home because I forgot the bags and I really, really didn't want to buy any more bags because I've got tons of bags here. I forgot. And to be honest, I weren't expected to get as much as I did get. But it's fine. Stocked up anyway. <laughs> Stella Rose is having fun. Yeah, I didn't have any bags and Stella Rose wasn't in her pram and we were literally going from the pram, uh, from the shop straight to the car to come home. So I put all the shopping in here. What I'll do is I'll quickly get it out so I can show you and then hopefully I'll find a receipt at the bottom of the bag or in my purse later. If I find it in my purse, obviously I'll do what I always do and give you the prices. I think it's really important to give prices. So yeah. Okay, so starting from the top, I will um, leave prices on the screen because I have found my receipt so starting off with these multi-grain hoops i've picked these up well i actually gave stella rose a choice she had the choice of these hoops multi-grain shapes or multi-grain dinosaurs um these were the cheapest but she did pick these ones i think she would have probably been better off with the dinosaurs because they had like purple ones in them but we'll see how she gets on with these because she really likes her very own ones which are the hip ones i'll just get them uh, with these ones she likes these hip organic fruitios so i thought we'd give her a try on the multi-grain hoops and see how she gets on yeah but she did actually pick these ones so um we got them for her or i got them for her picked up these new breakfast biscuits honey and yogurt flavor um i did want to pick them up before and i just didn't so while i saw them there i did pick them up and then a few cupboardy bits that i picked up and um, we've got sun-dried tomato couscous these are all Couscouses are all the same price, same but as rices. They're found in the same area as well. Uh, Moroccan medley, spice infusion, and lemon and coriander. Then we've got chicken rice, beef rice, and vegetable rice. So they're uh, in the same area. Got some milk, always need milk now. Stella Rose is officially on just whole milk now. Um, I didn't buy her any toddler milk because it was out of stock one day, and she's been okay on it so far, touch wood, so I've just kept her on that. Uh, mini corn on the cobs for our fake KFC. Then we've got this part of the fake KFC. This is the fires and drumsticks. But I also want to get the boneless one and then I do half and half. So half of this, half of the other one in one dinner. And then we've got another half for another time, if that makes sense. That's how I want to do it. And that will save us money in the long run. Um, if that makes sense. Probably not, but makes sense to me. Uh, honey roast ham. Some cheese slices for when I do crackers, cheese and ham for Stella Rose, like fake um, snack attacks. Uh, grated cheese. I get this one now because it's a bit smaller and um, a little bit cheaper as well. And I don't waste any, so that's good. I get that one. Uh, chew bits. This is a new addition that I've not bought for Stella Rose before. But I, uh, she was helping put things in the trolley or basket, whatever. And I didn't want her to lob my yogurts in there. So I got these to put in there while I put these in there. So we've got chew bits for Stella Rose to try. Um, we've got two packets of the yogurt six packs these are in the same packet um sunshine fruits very medley baby cucumbers i just find that they don't go off so quick um as a big one and then cherry tomatoes jar of gherkins because my little lady behind me absolutely loves gherkins coleslaw for our fake kfc we've already got chips so that's good prawn crackers that we was going to use for a curry but i'll save them for a curry another time sandwich fins um best of both or both in one and some pitters again Stella Rose is quite fussy when it comes to bread and sandwiches and stuff so just trying to find alternatives that she may get on with 
And then finally, I got some tins of tuna, two tins of tuna, and some nappy pants because I have to report Stella Rose is doing really, really well with her potty training. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go cold turkey. No, no. that's in there, look. You've moved all your lunch from here to here, haven't you? Nice. That's a triangle, darling. So, I did get quite a lot of knickers today for Stella Rose, which wasn't really in the budget. But at the same time, she doesn't really want to be in a nappy now. Um, when we're at home, definitely not. It's quite, a, um, not a chore, but it's quite hard now to get her to not wear her knickers, if that makes sense. So, she's quite good at telling you when she needs a wee, even if she has a nappy on. So, I'm just going to put knickers on her now. I need to get some, like, training seat pad things for the car seat and the pram just so that we don't have any like major accidents that's going to cause a problem um but yeah she's doing really really well so I can't complain at that she tells you when she's doing a wee she tells you when she's doing the number two and it's just time I think so I'm gonna yeah move forward quite quickly with the potty training now um yeah so I'm gonna show you the knickers we went to Poundland she's already got two packs of Poundland knickers and some Peppa Pig knickers that we got her for Christmas from home bargains but because obviously there is going to be accidents we just don't want to run out so i got a few more packets today i'll show you them not in the budget so the money has just came out of my account and i'll have to pay for it pay it back at some point so i got a variety of sizes um i got 18 to 24 and 2 to 3 just because obviously she's going to be both them ages she's currently 20 months these will probably fit her a bit past two but yeah so we've got these mini ones for five packs for four pounds then we've got these floral print ones five packs uh pairs sorry not packs five pairs for two pound fifty these actually say two pound on them but they scanned for it a pound so i might actually go and get the next size up in them for her these were 18 to 24 they were 18 to 24 yeah but they actually scanned for it a pound so i might go and get the next size up on them and that's just like a daisy duck and mini mouse pair she's going to disneyland in november so excited for it and then i got these these they only had two to three in these and these were a good buy four pairs for two pound so you've got cherries strawberries just a plain pink pair i think yeah and then more strawberries and these ones again three pairs for two pounds so they've got cherries on them again stripy pair and on the back there what have they got a little raspberry so yeah 11 pound 50 on knickers for stella rose but it should do us a little while and i spent 31 pound 5p in aldi i think it's over budget i accidentally went to self-service with card only so i had to pay card so i'll have to pay myself back for that as well but i'm quite good at doing that so it's no it's no big deal although i am going to get the boneless chicken box i'm going to leave the video here i'll sort of just i'll let you know about that next week maybe yeah because um we're on thursday now so it's literally i was going to get it but it had tomorrow's date on it and i need it for saturday so i thought i'd just wait i'm at work tomorrow just pick one up at work tomorrow so it's not a big deal so yeah that is the haul for this week i really hope that you are enjoying these hauls my audi haul last week did go down quite well so i'm really happy with that and i am obviously doing prices and this week i didn't end up doing a meal plan because i done the shopping a little bit late but um moving forward i will continue to do the meal, meal plans with you because i think it's great and it's working so yeah have a lovely day and i'll see you all soon bye guys